delicious sayas. Today, let's dissect a sea anemone. Sea anemones are marine organisms that extend tentacles to capture prey, so they are often referred to as the flowers of the sea. In Asia, some people make soup using these sea anemones as ingredients. This sea anemone is edible. It's very large. Most sea anemones attach themselves to hard surfaces like rocks. But this one is a species that lives buried in the deep sea mud. That's why you can see mud covering the lower part of its body. If fishermen put bait for eel fishing, this sea anemone often grabs onto the bait and comes up. That's why there's a fishing line attached to the sea anemone. Because of this behavior, sea anemones used to be considered a nuisance by fishermen. However, in one region of Asia, they have been developed into a delicacy and are being sold as a special food. In a moment, I'll try the anemone soup. First, to learn more about sea anemones, let's observe one closely. While in the water, the sea anemone extends its tentacles outward. But when taken out of the water, it retracts all of its tentacles. It hides its tentacles inside its body when it senses a threat. If you put it back into the water and wait, the tentacles come out again. It looks truly fascinating, doesn't it? Sea anemones belong to the Cnidaria, just like jellyfish, hydra, and corals. Cnidarians have two body forms, the cylindrical polyp and the free-swimming medusa, like jellyfish. Sea anemones have a polyp body form. The lower part of the sea anemone is called the petal disc, and it uses this part to attach itself to rocks or mud-like surfaces to survive. Surprisingly, when they sense danger, sea anemones can detach from their attachment point and try to escape. They can swim by twisting their bodies, using the contractions and relaxations of their internal muscles. However, if sea anemones don't feel threatened, most of them remain almost motionless and live in one spot. Cnidarians possess cnidocytes on their tentacles, and when their prey touches the tentacles, specialized organelles called cnidocysts release stinging structures known as cnidocysts. Inside the cnidocysts of sea anemones, there are paralyzing toxins that are extremely toxic to their prey. These toxins allow sea anemone to catch its prey. The prey is then brought to the mouth, located in the center of the tentacles. However, if we look at the lower part, there's no anus. Inside the body of a sea anemone, there is a hollow space called gastrovascular cavity. After digesting food in the gastrovascular cavity, the remaining things are expelled back through the mouth. So, in fact, this opening serves as both the mouth and anus. Fascinating, right? Now, let's dissect the sea anemone. First, let's take a brief look at the external structure. The upper part here contains the tentacles and the mouth. The area around the tentacles is surrounded by a circular muscle called the sphincter muscle, which can contract to retract the tentacles and the mouth. The columnar part consists of highly flexible tissue. And this is the pedal disc at the bottom. The sea anemone attaches itself to a surface using this area and lives there. Next, to examine the internal structure through the mouth, we cut the sea anemone in half. Looking at the lower part, you can see a central hollow space inside. This empty space is the gastrovascular cavity, which serves for digestion and circulation. The sea anemone puts its prey into this gastrovascular cavity for digestion, and then absorbs nutrients through the surrounding tissues. After digestion, the remaining indigestible material is expelled back out through the mouth. Between the gastrovascular cavity and the body wall, you can find the reproductive organs and muscles. When you cut the upper part with the tentacles in half, you can observe the pharynx, which is the part where food goes down from the mouth. Looking closely at the pharynx, you can see striped tissues, and the muscular part of this area helps move the food towards the gastrovascular cavity. See anemone dissection ends here. Now, let's try anemone soup. I have tried it myself. Hum. The tentacles look very appealing. Let's give it a taste.
The texture combines soft and chewy parts, and there's no particular scent or distinctive taste. It's quite delicious. This is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.